The Prime Minister said in his speech last week at the ALP conference that uh, he essentially was going to leave, leave them alone, leave Stage 3 uh, tax cuts alone. So um, as things stand at the moment, they're going ahead next year. Do you have any reason to doubt that's the case? Well, yes, because uh, every time he says something like that, we see other members of the Labor Party uh, come out and say, no, they should be changed. So for the Prime Minister to come out and categorically say that the Stage 3 tax cuts will go ahead would be a very good move. Mm. And that will bring certainty to those people who are seeing their taxes go up under Labor like they're seeing mm everything go up under Labor except their real wages. What about this intergenerational report? Um, a couple of drops at the moment, Dan. It's all coming out on Thursday in full, but it predicts the population will hit 40 million by 2040. That's not too dissimilar from what Josh Frydenberg had forecast in recent years. The average age for both men and women will, will go into the high 80s. I mean, that's that's good for, for all of us, but uh, that'll, that'll be a hit on the budget, no doubt. So, I mean, is, is spending going to have to increase... Well, it will have to when it comes to age and disability care. Well, the first thing is we haven't seen the intergenerational report. We've seen Labor selectively leaking parts of it. Uh, why they don't just give us the whole report uh, and be very transparent about it, I don't know. But what we are seeing is that 40 million figure for Australia's population bells the cat on Labor's big policy... Big um, Australia agenda. That 40 million bells the cat on Labor's big Australia policy without a plan. Mm. Uh, we know we've got 1.5 million people heading our way over five years. We now know the aim is 40 million. And if you have a look on the front page of the Age newspaper today, you see that every attempt that Labor has made at housing has delivered less housing than the money they're putting towards it. So this yeah. big Australia without a plan approach, I think, is not going to set Australia up the right way. And they really need to have a good hard look at this. Well, I mean, there's a lot of debate about whether the housing announcement last week is in fact going to do anything, whether, whether they are actually going to reach those goals of 1.2 million new homes. The big consensus for a lot of folks I spoke to on this program, and that includes yourself, Dan, in the past, is that we've got too many people now coming in. We're playing catch up, but it's now become turbocharged. So have you landed on a figure yet on where you want to see migration cut by? No, we haven't, because we want to be able to have a look at the intergenerational report and look at it in detail. We want to see where Labor's big Australia without a plan is going to lead to, and then we will come up with a policy in the lead-up to the next election. Okay. But what we're seeing at the moment is that everything Labor's doing is putting more pressure on housing, on rents, on inflation, on congestion and on the environment. Their big Australia without a plan approach isn't working for us. Dan Tan, good to see you. We'll talk to you again soon.